Hello guys, welcome back to this one engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for this one engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions the, to draw the shear force diagram and to draw the bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam. This cantilever beam has a total length of 10 meter and with two concentrated load, one point load of 3 kN at a distance of 5 meter from the lift support and the other point load is at the other end of the cantilever beam which is 4 kN in magnitude. So to find out the support reaction to draw the shear force into bending moment diagram, so we should consider this support reaction is point A. Let's suppose this is point A. So now this cantilever beam is a fixed support so this support can resist the load and also resist the moment. So first of all we have to show that it can resist the vertical force and it can also resist the bending moment which will be MA. RA and MA. So first we have to find out the support reactions RA and MA to find out to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram. So the first step is to find out the RA and MA. The moment at A and reaction at A. So to find out the reaction it's very easy. The reaction at A will be equal to the all load that is acting on this beam. So there are two loads. One is 3 kN and one is 4 kN. So it will be simply the addition of two loads 3 plus 4 which is equal to the 7 kN. So the reaction at point A will be 7 kN. So RA is equal to 7 kN. Now how to find out the moment at point A? So to find out the moment at point A we have to take the summation of moment at point A equal to 0. Now to find out the moment we can use this formula which is equal to that the moment at any point is equal to the force multiplied by the moment arm. This formula is used to calculate the moment at any point. So to find out the moment at point A we have to take the summation of moment at point A equal to 0. So all moment will be equal to 0 at point A. So the first force that creates the moment is 3 and the other force that creates the moment at point A is 4 kN. So there are two forces that create the moment at point A. So for the convention we have to take the clockwise is positive and the anti-clockwise moment taken is negative. Now the summation of moment at point A equal to 0. So this 3 kN is creating the moment in the clockwise direction. This 3 acting here in this way. So it is clockwise. So the summation of moment, moment at A will be equal to 3 kN is creating clockwise. 3 is the force multiplied by the moment arm. Moment arm for this 3 kN is the distance from the force up to the point A because we are calculating the moment at point A. So it is 5 meter multiplied by the 5 meter. The other moment is the force which 4, four kN creates. So the four, 4 is the force multiplied by the moment arm. The moment arm for this is the whole distance from this point up to the A point. So 4 is the force multiplied by the moment arm which is 5 plus 5, 10 meter. So the total moment at point A will be equal to, if we add this, so it comes out to be 55 kilonewton meter. So this is the moment at point A. So I can write it here 55 kilonewton meter. It is the unit of kilonewton meter. Now the next step will be to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram. But first was the finding out the support reactions that were the moment at A and the reaction at A. Now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, first we have to draw the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment. So these are the reference lines. One is here because this is the fixed support. So we can draw the reference line through the fixed support and one is the reference line through the load which acts here which is 3 kN and 1 at this point which is 4 kN. So we draw the three reference lines according to our need. Now we should draw the horizontal line 
these are also the reference lines one is for shear force and the other one is for bending moment so here we can write this is the shear force in kilonewton and the other one is for bending moment and this one is in kilonewton meter so now we have the reference lines we can mark here zero and zero 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 because these are the reference line so now how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram now the shear force is very easy we have just to look to the diagram which is given to us we know that the at this point a we have seven kilonewton reaction which is acting in upward direction so we start from this point so we can go up and up to seven kilonewton in magnitude so this is seven and this is in kilonewton so we have seven kilonewton acting upward is the reaction force at point a now there is no load up to five meter on this beam so this is five meter this is also five meter we see here this is five meter so there is no load acting so we have a straight line we can draw a straight line now there is again load of three kilonewton which is acting upward the seven kilonewton was acting upward while the three kilonewton was acting downward so we have to subtract the three from seven so we get four so we get four so now this is four and now there is again no no load acting and this beam to the length of five meter so we have no load so again we have four kilonewton so we have we can close this box so this is the shear force diagram for this beam now how to draw the bending moment diagram it's very easy we have to we have to draw the bending moment diagram from the shear force areas we know that the moment at point a is 55 kilonewton which is a negative moment because the cantilever beam always takes negative bending moment so this is a reference lines the above moment will be positive and the below moment from the reference line will be negative so this 55 kilonewton meter is always a negative moment for the cantilever beam it should be remembered that the moment at the cantilever beam is always a negative bending moment so we have we can write it here if we extend these lines reference lines so 55 is a negative so we can draw here 55 let's suppose this is 55 kilonewton meter is the unit so this is the 55 kilonewton meter is the bending moment at the point a now how to draw at the other points we can draw it from the areas of the boxes so the area of this box of the shear force we can find the area of this box the height is 7 and the width is 5 so 7 into 5 we should multiply and 7 into 5 we get 35 so 7 into 5 we get 35 and this one is acting upward you see here this is a reference line this one is positive and this one is negative so this shear force is acting in upward direction this is positive shear force so we should subtract this from 55 so if we subtract 55 from 35 we get 20 so at this point we will have 20 kilonewton magnitude of bending moment now we can draw the straight line from 55 to 20 now this line this shear force line was a zero degree line you see here this was a straight line so we call it a zero degree line horizontal line now the bending moment line will always be one degree greater than the shear force so this will be one degree line we see here this is a vertical line this is inclined line which is not a horizontal line because the bending moment diagram will be always one degree greater than the shear force now what about this shear box so we can also find the area of this shear box the height we know it is four it is four and the width is five so we should multiply these two four and five we get 20 so we should subtract this 20 from this 20 so we get 20 minus 20 we get zero so we have no bending moment here at this point again this will be one degree line because this is a zero degree line of shear force so this was the way how to draw the shear force in the bending moment diagram for cantilever beam with two pointed load of three kilonewton and four kilonewton for daily civil engineering videos please subscribe our channel Thank you for watching our video.